Uh, yeah, yeah Slank on Leeds. Um, nice little win against Bristol City, to be honest. 2-1. Uh, the game was... I don't know. The game, the game were all right. The game were all right. I feel like the, the goal that we uh, give away was sloppy. But, again, that's nothing new when it comes for, to us. Uh, obviously, with Bristol City having Naki Wells, I always thought that whole uh, like curse of him playing against us was going to come back to haunt us. But, luckily enough, we didn't have Calamity Cooper uh, at the back. Strike. Played well again uh, against oh alongside uh, Rodan, so that's that's a, a nice um, nice partnership hoping to uh, develop there. I would like to see Cresswell more, but I don't know. Signs a signs a new long term deal and then don't play Archie Gray at right back. I mean, I, it it worked. It's not where I want him, but it worked. Uh, that obviously give a chance for Kamara in the holding midfielder role, and uh, it did pretty well. There were a few little like odd passes and stuff like that, but he got himself stuck in. He ran around, he put himself apart, which is all you, all Leeds fans want anyway. You know, just get stuck in and work for the fucking work for the team. Uh, Rutter obviously with the miss of the season so far, but I know why this is. There's also a striker that has just come back from injury. Start training, who plays the violin, and he is French. So he's obviously been telling Rutter what he thinks he should do because okay. any other day, Rutter would have put that in. If you know who it is, comment down below. <laughs> you say it like it's a disease spreading. It is. He's gone, you know what you should do? You know what you should do? Is either like literally teaching him how to be bad because he's bad or is teaching him to be bad so he can get back in the lineup? I. I I love him for what he did when we got promoted and after we got promoted. The time has come. I feel like he's still at the club because no one else wants him. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, Rutter's, uh, Rutter's actual um, contributions were immense once again. It, it seems to be going from strength to strength. Um, there's always those couple of jinky, amazing runs he does per game, and then he just lays off some of the most stunning balls that I've ever seen. And, uh, yeah, uh, Somerville's finish... Uh, not Somerville's finish. Somerville's cross into Dan James, who sort of just, like, ended up, like, being no in the right place. Season. Yeah, pretty much. Being in the right place at the right time. Um, I always said that his league might lend itself to him because of his speed. I still maintain that he's... Nothing but a 2020 version of Theo Walcott. Long may he prove me wrong, but he's also a scum player. Or ex-scum. So, you know, whatever, whatever. We've had ex-scum players in the past. None of them turned us down to come crawling back. And then, uh, obviously, you know, the, the best striker in the championship, Piro, with a uh, fucking outstanding finish. The touch, the little edge to create a bit of space. And then... Just to finish, were sublime as always. But yeah, like I said, um, good win, good win against Bristol City. They're not always, uh, not always the greatest team to play against. Um, next up, uh, where are we? I believe we have Norwich. Let me just uh, double check that. Yep, Norwich on the twenty-first, which is a week on Saturday, three o'clock kickoff. Uh, away at Norwich. We currently sit fifth in the championship table. Uh, where are we? 19 points. Wow, Leicester really got 30 points. Holy fucking shit balls. I never realised that. Ipswich are flying as well. Yeah, Ipswich are flying as well. Uh, so you got Leicester, Ipswich, Preston, Sunderland, Leeds, Birmingham, all vying for the uh, promotion places. Uh, just followed very closely by... Four teams, Norwich, Cardiff, Hull and Southampton. Um, yeah, Daniel Farker is getting his message across, it seems. Uh, the team is starting to play as a team, which is nice to see. Uh, I had very, I was very worried before the international break, and that in, well, the first international break, and uh, that sort of like helped us to uh, fall into position with Daniel's uh, ways. So, um, 
or may it continue. All I will say, as always, is let's take it one game at a time. There's like 40 odd, 30 odd games left to play. Let's just take it one game at a time. If it comes to May and we're still up here, then we can start getting us, you know, ourselves excited unless we're in playoffs. Cause we all know what our fucking record's like in the playoffs. So, yes, that's uh, that's uh, Lank on Leeds. Just a quick short roundup. Uh, if you have any comments about it, please do leave them below and I will uh, I will message you back and we'll have a little chinwag. <laughs>